Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, a little bit of discussion. I see a lot of uh, comments on the um, sort of minimum requirements change, which technically in Windows um, 11, 24H2 affects really the old, old disk PCs that probably can run it unsupported. Um, it's not much of a problem, honestly. And um, I don't see many people probably using these PCs with Windows 11 anyway. I'm not even sure they're probably using Windows 10. So, you know, there's nothing to worry. There's a lot of people, you know, wondering, well, if I buy a Windows 11 PC now, uh, might I, you know, will I get a Windows 11 update at some point that my PC can run? Uh, honestly, if your PC runs... Windows 11 supported, meaning that any PC you buy today that runs Windows 11 natively without any change because it is running fine, you have the minimum requirements, these PCs will run Windows 11 until end of support. These PCs will be running Windows 11. There's new AI stuff that might not be available because they're talking about MPUs and all of that. But I would think that, because I see a lot of comments of people saying, well, you know, now we understand Windows 12 is dead. Well, Windows 12 is not dead. It's postponed. I would think that what would be the next step in, um, in, in NPU requirements and stuff like that would probably be a lot more the Windows, the next version of Windows, the real next, you know, new named Windows, Windows 12 or whatever. But um, if you have Windows 11, there's no need to worry. As for unsupported hardware, it is unsupported hardware. And one thing you got to understand, Microsoft has said it since the beginning, um, that anything can change at any point. So if you run it and it runs fine, for most unsupported machines, and probably the majority of them, it still will run fine on 24H2. Um, and, you know, if you, when I see the question of, well, I got SSC 4.2, will it work? That's exactly what my video says. Listen to what people say when you ask questions. Um, you know, lots of questions are answered within the video. Uh, it's very important. But if you get a Windows 11 machine, it's going to be working in, you know, five years if Windows 11 is still there and in 10 years if Windows 11 is still there. It's just, um, you know, minor changes mostly to the unsupported base and it's old. You know, I showed you that my 10, 12-year-old Toshiba can run unsupported 24H2. It has the instructions. Of course, there's this big war of, well, everything can be bypassed. No, you can't bypass instructions that are CPU instructions. Uh, that's a reason why a lot of games and software don't run on older machines. It's not just a question of power. It's a question of instruction sets that don't exist. That's it. Uh, and that's not a bypass. A lot of people are still stuck to the wall. Rufus will do it. No, Rufus does a very basic thing. Rufus just changes the files that check for minimum requirement. It does not modify in any way the operating system image itself. It just removes the parts in some of the files that check minimum requirements. This is not a minimum requirement check that will happen here. This is the new version of Windows will be calling the pop, the pop count instructions. It will ask for the number of bits. It's a instruction within a CPU. And so this is going to be all over the, 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 the uh, Windows operating system asking for that and, and asking for that instruction. So, you know, this is a very different thing. People are on the impression that it's everything is bypassable. No, it's not. It's, it's a question of hardware here, not a question of modifying a little something in software. The, um, so, you know, stop worrying about it. 
And um, as time goes by, uh, the other question I got is, you know, if I buy a, a, a PC today, what should I buy? Well, on the safe side, if you really buy a PC that want and you want it to last long, I would safely say start looking for, if you have the money, because there will be more expensive, look for a PC that's powerful and that has a neural processor in it, an NPU. There are models that will be coming out with this this year. I think it's a safe bet that those will be running for a long time. But even if they don't have an NPU, uh, most PCs today that have minimum requirements for Windows 11, I think they'll be fine for a long time. I think there's too much worrying about it. And as for, once again, unsupported PCs, remember you're unsupported and Microsoft did tell you at any time it could end. So at any time, a new minimum requirement might take away some other older machines. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.